A few days ago, we got a new release of Rust, Rust 1.65, with a new cool feature, the Let Earth Statements, which is basically guards. So let's see how it works. So let's say that we have a function, which is kinum, that is going to parse this string with my key and a number, and it will return a result of tuple with a key as a string and the value as a i32. So we'll use a split once, and then typically one way of doing it is to have a iflet to first split on the colon, and then having another leaflet to do the parsing. And then we return the key val if everything is okay, or we're going to return our error. So we're going from our key val, that our boss string, and then we get our value as a i32, and then we do the return. The downside of this approach is everything is very nested. And then also we are replicating the errors, assuming we're okay with the same error. So one thing I usually do for that, I actually swap the things. I'm going to remove my errors, and the return of the function is going to be the error, and then I'm going to have an early return for the happy path. And that works pretty well, because it removes the redundancies of the errors. But the problem is, again, we have our main code of the function, which is deep into the if trees. So with languages like Swift, we have the concept of guards. And the guard is basically the other way around, where you want to return early when there's an error. You could do that with matches, but with a new let else statement, it's much cleaner. So here's the way it works. We're going to take our nested if, we're going to put it there, so everything is going to be flat. And now we're going to change from if let to let else. And we put our exception inside the block. And we're going to do the same thing for the second block, from if let to let else. And we're going to return the exception. We don't forget to put the semicolon, because now that is a statement. And now the happy path of the function is the main chunk of the function. So we can say OK and the key and the var. And now that's it. If we toggle our types, we see that we have our key vars that are string at the beginning. Then we get our var, which is an integer. And then we return our value. And then we have our guards, which is on top. So everything is much cleaner. There are also some pretty cool new stuff in 165. There were a lot of things. And we have, obviously, the famous GATS, which is much more advanced. But this is going to be a big enhancement for many APIs. We have our let else statements. And then we have another function feature, which is a break. So now, before, you could break on for loops, but now you can break on any code block. So you give the name of your code block, and then you can break on it and even return a value. So that allows you to return a value for the block without returning from the function. So that is very useful. And then there are a lot of other things in this release. That would be it for today. Until next one, happy coding.